Welcome to Stressless, the recliner that lets you create your own personal comfort zone with a smooth reclining glide system that eases your body into the perfect position for total relaxation, plus full lumbar support and a headrest that adjusts automatically. Stressless, relax your body, free your mind. Come, experience Stressless at Enbo Furniture in Cornelius. Thinking of updating your existing countertops? Then call the countertop specialists at Fox Tops All. Fox Tops All is a leading provider of premium custom manufactured countertops, which we fabricate to your specs. No matter how large the project, Fox Tops All believes in exemplary customer service from the moment you walk through our doors until the last installed surface meets your satisfaction. Come visit our Mooresville showroom today and see for yourself why Fox Tops All. Hi, I'm Bill Rosinski. I love cigars, and when I buy cigars, I get them at Charlie's. You absolutely must see the walk-in humidor at Charlie's Cigars. Just the aroma as you walk through it, surrounded by some of the finest handmade cigars from all over the world. Find out why Charlotte's Cigar Society is moving to Charlie's for the very best premium cigar experience. Whether you've been enjoying cigars for years or just beginning to understand what's so special, think outside the box. Think Charlie's Cigars. Hi everyone, I'm Bill Rosinski and welcome to another edition of Sports Night. We're at the Sunset Club on South Boulevard, just outside Uptown Charlotte. Glad you're with us tonight. Our focus right now is gymnastics and the Olympics. This is an Olympic year. The athletes will be converging on China in a couple of months. Our first guest was the face of women's gymnastics back in the mid-80s. In 2006, she was inducted into the Gymnastics Hall of Fame. And she has, actually has a center outside Lake Norman, exit 45 off 77 and Athletic Center where she teaches young girls how to compete in gymnastics. Christy Phillips joins us. Christy, great to see you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. So how did you end up <laughs> up in Lake Norman after the career you've had? How did you end up here? <laughs> well, actually, uh, my husband and I were living in New York City in the entertainment industry, and we found wakeboarding. And he had a brother that lived on Lake Norman. And we realized we could wakeboard six more months out of the year down here <laughs> than we could in New Jersey. So we picked it up and we moved on to Lake Norman. <laughs> All right. How long ago was that? That was in the year 2000. 2000. You've been down here. And tell us about the center because uh, there's, you actually have a website. Yes. If you're interested in getting involved in this and having your kids uh, learn how to be a gymnast, this is the place to go. I think so. <laughs> um, we had a very successful competition season this year. Um, every level that we competed, levels four through nine, finished in the top ten in the state. We had our first qualifiers to the Eastern Nationals at the level nine. So we had a fabulous year and it's been a lot of hard work over the last four years training those girls to get to those levels. Um, I've actually owned my business, KPAC, which stands for Christy Phillips Athletic Center, for four years. And uh, we are just about to move into a state-of-the-art facility. In fact, we move in tomorrow. Wow. Yes, I'm very excited about that. And in our new facility, it's um, kind of a state-of-the-art athletic facility. We'll have a full-on physical therapy center named Gaston Rehab. They will have their own practice there. They will also host and um, teach sports fitness classes to young boys that are involved in football, soccer, and that sort, as well as adults that are looking to get more fit and get in shape. Um, we have Cheer Extreme All-Stars, which are currently ranked second in the world. They have come in and they're going to do our cheerleading program. And then we have Karen Dees from the Academy of Dance and Fine Arts. She's going to come in and do our full service dance program and she competes nationally. And Karen was actually on Broadway and did several national and amazing things. So it's going to be a full on athletic center for cheerleading, dance, sports, fitness and gymnastics. When you look back to the mid 80s and the great success you had, uh, you went through a streak in like I think 86, 87 where you were winning every competition you were in. Did you ever picture yourself doing what you're doing now? I never in my life thought I would ever <laughs> teach young children. Um, in fact, it's very, it was a very eye-awakening, emotional moment for me when I spent my whole life about me. I was, you know, was going to be the next Mary Lou, then I was going to be an actress, and then a film star, and then you know, dance in a professional dance company. So I lived my life for me for many, many years. But the most emotional, 
reward has been these last four years when I've helped children to become something that they didn't think they could do, you know, or something that they couldn't help think that they could be. I've helped, you know, instill in them self-confidence and hard work and motivation and what it takes to be a champion, not only in the sport of gymnastics, but a champion at life. And that's my goal in life now is to help promote a good, healthy balance between athletics, school, social life, and real life and prepare these kids to where they can make it in this world. And if you don't know this, Christy was on the cover of Sports Illustrated when she was 14 years old and the yes. title caption was the next Mary Lou. I, and of course that's Mary Lou Retton. I can't imagine the pressure you were under. I can't imagine a 14 year old. What was that like? To be honest, <laughs> me, I'm a performer. So when the pressure's on, I'm gonna be at my peak. I'm gonna be at the best. And that's, I think, just a natural gift that some athletes have or, and some don't. And I, I love the pressure. I love the attention. I love the media exposure. So I was actually, it, it captivated me and it made yeah. me want to do better and do mm -hmm. more so that I could just please everybody because that's the type of person I am. I like for everyone to be happy. All right. Now, that, this, all these events were leading up to the Seoul Olympics in 1988. But you went through something you couldn't control, and that was the physical growth of your body. Puberty. Uh, yeah, there you <laughs> it's go. It's called puberty. Everyone goes through it. <laughs> and, and this affected the way you had to do things, and you didn't make the Olympic team. So not only did you, were you on the cover of Sports Illustrated dealing with all the success, but you had to, to deal with this adversity as well. Absolutely, and I think that that, that that moment in my life when things didn't always go my way, things didn't always happen the way they were supposed to happen, it was those moments that were the hardest and I struggled the most through, but have made me the individual that I am today that is strong, that can persevere through anything, and that is motivated to do everything. And I try my best to keep my foot in every door that I can and really try to help the kids of today's society become contributing members in their future. Do these kids that you deal with realize that you had this great career? Because uh, fame is so fleeting. And I, I know in, in doing the NFL, I know mm -hmm. college guys who didn't know so-and-so played 15 years ago in Absolutely. the NFL. And here you're dealing with kids who are seven, eight, nine, maybe even younger than that when they first start, have no idea what, what you had gone through. They have no idea, but they know love and they, lo they know compassion and they know when a teacher or a role model isn't in front of them, leading a good example and helping them to aspire to achieve the goals that they aspire to be. And that's what I'm all about these days. It doesn't matter what I've done in my past. It matters what I do today to contribute to society tomorrow. All right, now you also ventured into film, uh, television, yes. and I don't know oh, Lord. if we can get a shot of this, but this is, <laughs> this is uh, the movie Spitfire. It came out in 1994. What was the, what was the plot of this movie? Um, basically, I can kick anybody's butt in my movie. <laughs> it's um, basically a, not a spoof movie off of uh, James Bond, but loosely based on a James Bond type film where I can beat everybody up and there's a computer chip in my gym bag and <laughs> all these bad people are out to get it and I kick their butts. <laughs> it was a lot of fun and it was what an amazing, amazing experience. And again, that all happened because of my background in gymnastics. All right, I wanna get into the, the politics in the Olympics because yeah. once again, and this happens, it seems every Olympic and year. Every four years. Uh, there are a lot of people who would like to see the American team boycott the Olympics in China. Uh, the first remembrance uh, I have of this is back in 1980, uh, when the U.S. you know uh, boycotted the Summer Games. Do politicians? Do you believe you, you've been an, an athlete in this mm -hmm. position? Do they have any right to use our Olympic athletes as political pawns, or should it be up to the athlete? I mean, if you don't want to go to China mm -hmm. because of what they do socially, don't go. Absolutely not. They have no idea the heart, the soul, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the energy and the amount of time that these athletes have spent training for this one moment. They can never fathom that in a lifetime because they've never had to work so hard. I can promise you that. Every athlete that will be participate in that Olympic Games would, would back me on this statement saying, there is no place for politics when it comes to athletics. 
Let's talk about this Olympic team coming up, because aren't you going to be a judge? Are you going to have a little bit of a say in <laughs> who's going to be on this Olympic gymnastics team? I have actually been blessed with the most amazing honor this year and was nominated by the athletes and by my governing body, which is USA Gymnastics, to become what they call the athlete representative. And as the athlete representative, I had to get... You can keep going. <laughs> as the athlete representative, I had to get cleared through the U.S. Olympic Committee um, for my background in the sport and what I actually currently, am, how I'm currently involved in the sport to be eligible for this position. And this position consists of three people across the country that will help hand select the U.S. Olympic team for the year 2008. How good will our Olympic team be, do you think, and where does the main competition come from? Our Olympic team this year is very strong. We have a lot of depth and it's a very scary job for me to have some say so into actually who's going to represent us. Our biggest competition I'm sure will, will be China, especially since the games are going to be held in China. They have some amazing talent and an amazing way that they do things in that country. But no one in this world has the spirit and the, the charisma and the go get ness and the team spirit that the U.S. team has, and I think that's going to prevail over everyone. I think they have a very good chance of taking home their first Olympic team gold medal. Now, uh, I know you can't do anything for us tonight, Olympic-wise, because <laughs> you, when, are, when, when is the baby due? <laughs> Babies. Babies, wow. Babies are due in July. However, we have to have them early so that I can be on an airplane <laughs> 10 days later to go to the Olympic selection process camp. Wow. So, Baby's in tow. <laughs> Two weeks after a C-section, I'll be on the airplane. <laughs> now, now, will you try to go to China, or is that some? No, no China's okay. definitely out of the question this year. Um, I would have loved to have been able to, but priorities are priorities, and family always comes first. Before we let you go, the website again for your uh, athletic center, and uh, maybe a phone number, too, if the yeah. folks want to call. Um, the website is www.kpacgym.com kpacgym.com and we can be reached at 704-872-2888. All right, and it's exit 45 off of I-77 up in Lake Norman. Absolutely. Come see us. Christy, We're having fun. Christy, great, uh, great seeing you. Good luck picking our Olympic champions this year. Great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Christy Phillips with us. More to come on Sports Night. Stay right there. Sports Night is brought to you by Inbo Furniture, Scandinavian and Contemporary Design. Fox Top Saw, the countertop specialist. Visit our Mooresville showroom today and ask about our starting line selection. Charlie's Premium Cigars. For your next cigar experience, think outside the box. Think Charlie's Cigar. And by the Sunset Club. Hi, I'm Bill Rosinski. I love cigars, and when I buy cigars, I get them at Charlie's. You absolutely must see the walk-in humidor at Charlie's Cigars. Just the aroma as you walk through it, surrounded by some of the finest handmade cigars from all over the world. Find out why Charlotte's Cigar Society is moving to Charlie's for the very best premium cigar experience. Whether you've been enjoying cigars for years or just beginning to understand what's so special, think outside the box. Think Charlie's Cigars. Thinking of updating your existing countertops? Then call the countertop specialists at Fox Tops All. Fox Tops All is a leading provider of premium custom manufactured countertops, which we fabricate to your specs. No matter how large the project, Fox Tops All believes in exemplary customer service from the moment you walk through our doors until the last installed surface meets your satisfaction. Come visit our Mooresville showroom today and see for yourself why Fox Tops All. Welcome to Stressless, the recliner that lets you create your own personal comfort zone with a smooth reclining glide system that eases your body into the perfect position for total relaxation, plus full lumbar support and a headrest that adjusts automatically. Stressless, relax your body, free your mind. Come, experience Stressless at Enbo Furniture in Cornelius. Sports Night is brought to you by Inbo Furniture, Scandinavian and Contemporary Design. Fox Tops All, the countertop specialist. Visit our Mooresville showroom today and ask about our starting line selection, Charlie's Premium Cigars. For your next cigar experience, think outside the box. Think Charlie's Cigars. 
We're back on Sports Night. We turn our attention now to the National Football League. Whenever I see this guy, I, I get a lot of memories flooding back in my mind. In 1995-96, he was one of the original members of the Carolina Panthers. And I remember reading in the media guide, I think his goal was to be an FBI agent. Well, he's not quite that, but I would like to welcome Officer Dwight Stone to our program. Stoney, good to see you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you having me here tonight. Uh, lots of times you see in the in the bios of people, what, oh, this is what I really like to do when I grow up. It's almost a dream come true. You, you followed this goal. You're a police officer on the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Force. What, what, what's that like for you? This is a different world. Uh, something that I've always wanted to do. God has blessed me in so many ways, from having an opportunity to go to college, to play the NFL, now that police officer. It's just been a blessing throughout, you know, the background which I came from, housing project, um, mom raising seven kids, never thought of an excuse. My mom always say, put your nose to the grindstone and do it. And you were always kind of, you, you always liked authority, I guess. Because Now you got a scholarship uh, to Marion Military Institute. Yes. During that time, you got, got involved with ROTC. Mm -hmm. So it seems like you always kind of like that, that regiment, someone to, you know, uh, yes. uh, lead the charge. Uh, uh, yes, when you have like an uh, older sister like I have who, kind of beat you down, you figured that, hey, I'm gonna give it to someone else. And being in Marion, I had an opportunity, you know, to go to West, uh, West Point, but I decided that I wouldn't go to Middle Tennessee. And it's something that the authority figure is more or less is trying to guide people